Hello friends, so here is another question on full wave rectifier. So the question is that a 230 volt 50 hertz supply voltage is applied to the primary of a 4 is to 1 turns ratio step down transformer which is used in a bridge rectifier circuit and it has a load resistance of 600 ohms okay and uh, assuming that the diodes they are ideal we have to find out the following things that is first the DC output voltage the DC power delivered to the load the peak inverse voltage and the output frequency okay this is the question so here the important thing is that this is a bridge rectifier circuit okay bridge type full wave rectifier okay now we'll draw the circuit diagram which is very important first we have the supply voltage which is 230 volt I think is yes, 230 volt 50 Hertz 230 volt 50 Hertz then we have the primary winding and then we have the secondary winding step down transformer and then we have the bridge circuit Okay, this is the four diodes connected in the bridge uh, arrangement then we have the load resistance okay this okay this is the thing d1 d2 you can name them in any way in any order it does not matter okay this uh, the turns ratio is 4 is to 1 to 30 volt 50 Hertz yes now the first thing that we have to determine using the turns ratio this is the RMS primary RMS voltage 230 volt okay now we know that the turns ratio which is the number of turns of primary winding to the number of turns of secondary winding it is related with the primary voltage and the secondary voltage it can be RMS type it can be maximum type since we are given the RMS type we'll be using that so here 4 by 1 is equal to VP RMS which is 230 volt primary RMS voltage primary winding RMS voltage and we have to determine the RMS value of the secondary winding so that is VS RMS is equal to 230 by 4 this much so that is equal to it is coming around uh, 50, yes 57 57.5 volts that is the RMS value now the maximum value Vs max is equal to root 2 into the RMS value okay that is root 2 into 57.5 that is equal to 81.3 volts that is the maximum value so a very important concept which is the difference significant difference between bridge type and center type full wave rectifier is that in bridge type rectifier the entire maximum value of the secondary voltage it appears across this okay the maximum value across the bridge rectifier circuit okay the four diodes so here Vs max is equal to Vmax okay Vs max 
that is the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage is equal to the maximum value of voltage which is subjected to the diode only for bridge type rectifier circuits in center tap it is vs max by 2 that is the secondary voltage it gets divided in two equal values from the center tap point okay this now very easy the dc output voltage will de determine using the basic formulas here the diodes are ideal so directly we can use the voltage values okay diodes are ideal no forward voltage drops okay so vdc we know it is equal to 2 v max by pi here v max is equal to v s max which is equal to 81.3 volt so simply we'll substitute this value which is equal to 2 into 81.3 divided by pi okay this and that is equal to it is coming around 52 volt okay 52 volt so that is just uh, Okay, 2 into 81.3 Yes, 51.7 it is rounding it off, it is 52 volt, yes. Then we have the next thing which is asked is the DC power delivered to the load. Simply we will be using this, the DC power delivered to the load that is equal to the VDC DC output voltage square by load resistance RL okay this is the DC power delivered to the load so RL is equal to 600 ohm I think yes RL is equal to 600 ohm this year we have calculated 52 volt 51.7 rounding it off 52 so 52 square by RL which is equal to 600 so it is coming around So the power delivered to the load it is coming around 52 square uh, load resistance 600 this is 4.5 watts ok 4.506 but 4.5 watt ok next is the peak inverse voltage ok so in case of uh, bridge type rectifier circuits this entire maximum voltage it is subjected to the diode so here peak inverse voltage is simply the maximum value of the secondary voltage okay which is equal to the v max here which we calculated which is 81.3 volts okay that is the peak inverse voltage okay this is the power delivered to the load resistance then we have output frequency yes for full wave rectifier be it center tap or bridge type the output frequency is always equal to twice of the input frequency okay because here the circuit operates in both the positive and negative half cycles and produces pulsating DC output that's why for full wave rectifiers always remember be it center tap or bridge type output frequency is twice of the input frequency input frequency is given as 50 Hertz okay this is 50 Hertz so output will simply be 2 into 50 100 Hertz this is the output frequency okay this so here very simple first we determined it is the bridge type rectifier circuits after that everything was easy important thing to notice here is that the maximum voltage here is equal to the secondary winding voltage the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage then using that maximum value we determine the VDC that is the output DC voltage value which is 2 V max by pi always remember these formulas 
Using that, we determine the load resistor, the power delivered across the load, which is VDC square by RL, the voltage across the DC voltage across the load divided by the load resistor, which is 600. And then we have uh, the peak inverse voltage and the output frequency. So here the load resistor is equal to 600 ohm, which is also specified in the question here. Okay, So this is the solution.